A recent stat just came out at the end of 2023 saying that almost 5 billion people are on social media worldwide now. So this is where our consumers are at and potential patients. Welcome to Success Confidentials. Nine minutes every week that'll level up your practice. If you're a healthcare visionary obsessed with patient experience, team culture, marketing, and growth, you're in the right place. We are too. We're Lauren and Christine, the patient whispers. <laughs> we worked together for four years as leaders in a real premium practice. We did not play in the traditional healthcare sandbox and believe human emotions drive all success and it really really worked we grew our cash pay practice and averaged 60 percent year over year and on social media we grew our followers from 1,000 to 14,000 in just two years generating millions in annual revenue from social media alone so now we're out here sharing what made us wildly successful so you can be too let's have some fun (laughs) and let's dive in (laughs) social media When do you use its organic free features and when do you put some money behind it? Today we are tackling this subject. We get this question a lot, but basically we're going to put it out there. If you are spending money on marketing and you are not putting either some or most of that budget into social media, you are missing out on one of the most effective and least expensive ways to get the word out about your practice and your procedures. If you are posting organically on social media and not putting money behind it, you are capping your reach and then also probably wasting your time and energy as well because you're not getting the maximum return on your investment of your time in that case. We're talking about paying social media platforms to show your content to more people. It's that simple. Think of it like running a newspaper ad, running a TV commercial, running radio spots. We're all familiar with that in marketing. You're paying to get in front of people. You're paying to get your message out. It is the same thing on social media. Sometimes the perception we hear around social media from businesses and in our case practices is because social media is free, maybe they shouldn't have to pay to reach more people. But the thing is, is that social media is created for people to connect with other people. So when a business or a practice in our case comes into play, we do have to pay to reach more people and break out of our normal following group. That's just how it works, unless you want to keep showing up to your same group of followers over and over and over again. We definitely see certain healthcare professionals that have created a public persona on social media, and they have content that goes viral and gets hundreds of thousands of views, right? That's not really what we're talking about, because that is a very specific brand that is created as a person, as a human, and you're creating a ton of content to get to that level. So that's not really realistic for most practices. That kind of falls in a category by itself. Today, we're really talking about you as a practice, your practice profile, how do you reach more people? And ultimately, reach these people to become leads and potentially patients in our door and grow our bottom line. Yes, that big growth that you want is found on social media, but only when there is a strategy behind it and usually ad spending. This is how we made millions. We averaged 2 million a year in revenue from social media, but we had a very specific strategy and killer content. The reason this is so important and why we are excited to talk about this today is because social media is where people are at. It's where successful businesses and brands are marketing. And so many times in healthcare, we get left behind. We're not following current consumer marketing trends. And that's what we love bringing to you guys, bringing to our healthcare partners. And the stats back all of this up. A recent stat just came out at the end of 2023 saying that almost 5 billion people are on social media worldwide now. So this is where our consumers are at and potential patients. And the amount of time people spend on social media is over two hours per day. Over two and a half. Yeah. It's crazy when you think about it. Last year, social media overtook paid search in advertising spend. That was 
so mind blowing because everyone knows paid search is where you market to get to your potential searching buyer, consumer, patient. It was at 137 billion versus 135 billion on paid search. So this is what works and marketers know it. You need to know it. It's where we want to spend our money. When we talk about this, I really think about a scenario that may resonate with some of you watching where we worked with someone and he really cleaned up all his profiles. They look beautiful. Mm-hmm. And he went through some of our courses. Yeah. And he's posting religiously. He's mm-hmm. putting so much time so and much effort time. into mm-hmm. this organic content. We see posts all the time. It, Almost it, every and day. And it's good. Mm-hmm. Like there's good content in there, but he hasn't taken the step to now have a marketing strategy and put money behind Mm -hmm. this content that he's posting. So this content is showing up to the same hundreds of people over and over and he's seeing a few patients here and there, but not experiencing the great success we saw when we were in practice. He's not gonna see $80,000 a month coming in from social media if he's showing up to a couple hundred people Mm -hmm. with every video or every post. Mm -hmm. And it can be frustrating. So if you're there, don't be frustrated. You just need to put a marketing strategy behind your content. We tried everything and sometimes it worked, sometimes it flopped. And in the beginning, especially before we really figured out what that secret sauce was, we saw some really low cost per leads, but horrible leads. We would get leads that came in and acted like they had no idea who we were when we called them back and their dog filled it out. (laughs) It was a disaster. So you don't want that. But the key is really in the right content, really good quality content that doesn't feel like an ad and how we're delivering it and the budget we're putting behind it. We want to get a really good value for our dollar, but also really good results. We ended up with about 115 cost per lead, which was fantastic, Mm -hmm. and a 60% conversion to consultation. Those are good quality, really low cost leads. It can also work for awareness as well. We Mm -hmm. recently started working with a new practice and they had a very, very small budget of $450, but they got great results from it. They were able to reach over 23,000 people in their local community that then knew more about them and the services they offered. Yeah. What a great way to launch an opening with $450. That's how effective this can be. Our takeaways here from today are to one, prioritize good content. You don't want to just throw money out there with the wrong content or you will be severely disappointed. A great way to do this is to test it organically, then boost it or send it to your agency and make sure to watch your results. Also, we've got our content right. Now it's where we are sending them. Make sure they are clicking to the right place that makes sense for them. Or there's an option where they can send a message right there in social media. There are a lot of different call to actions is what it's called that you can run with your boosted content. Test it, make sure it's good. You don't wanna send them to your homepage. You don't wanna send them to a procedure page that's very information driven or just a bland standard form. There's a very specific landing page funnel and we have a resource for that. If we can help you with anything related to today's topic, use the link to schedule a free 30 minute synergy session just for new practices. For our existing practice clients, you already know where to find us. Now we want to hear from you. What resonated? What other topics are hot for you right now? We want to know all about it in the comments. We're just a comment away. So if you have any questions, we personally respond to all comments and DMs. If you're not subscribed yet, make it easy on yourself to see new episodes and reference topics that are helpful by hitting the subscribe button.